to educator.com. This is the life science course and today's lesson is on plant responses. Today's objectives are number one, identify and describe the major types of plant responses. Number two, compare and contrast long day and short day plants. And number three, explain how plant hormones and responses are related. So what are plant responses? Well, responses are just reactions to something. Uh, when we are responding to someone who is talking to us, um, we may respond by talking back or uh, it may cause us to do an action. Well, plants are the same way. Uh, all those things are behaviors and the behavior, a behavior is the way in which an organism interacts with other organisms in its environment and to its environment where it lives. Now, a stimulus is anything that causes a response in an organism. For example, if I were to put my hand on a hot stove, without thinking, I would probably draw my hand back as an automatic reflex. And uh, the hot stove would be the stimulus, and my hand being moved back from that hot stove would be the effect or the reflex of that stimulus. Now, for all organisms, there's two different types of stimuli. Stimuli is just the plural word for stimulus. There's external stimuli, and those are things that stimulate the organism outside of itself. And then there's the internal stimuli, and those are things that stimulate the organism within its own self. So an external ex uh, stimuli, an example would be like a loud noise coming from a car or a truck. Uh, or the temperature outside, whether it's getting really cold or really hot, those would be external stimuli because they affect the organism, but they come from an outside source. An internal ex uh, stimuli example would be chemicals um, that are produced within that organism, and those chemicals affect some change in that organism. Now, chemicals produced by uh, organisms such as plants that affect the change are called hormones and we'll talk about plant hormones in this lesson. Um, plant responses can affect how plants grow and how they function. Tropisms are the word that we use to describe the responses that plants and other organisms have to external stimuli. Tropisms are responses that cause a movement or a change in growth of a plant. Tropisms can be positive or negative. Positive tropisms would cause the plant to grow and negative tropisms would cause the plant to not grow. Again, tropisms are responses caused by external stimuli. So here are some examples of tropisms. We'll start, we'll just talk about the positive examples for this lesson. Uh, for example, a touch uh, would be a tropism and a pea plant that responds to um, touching, uh, for example, this stick here. Here are some pea plants. Um, once it touches that stick, it actually wants to wrap its stem around that wooden stick and um, the pea plant responds to that touch of the stick by uh, growing these tendrils and these tendrils uh, coil around other things. Another tropism would be light. Um, the plant wants or needs light in order to survive. So a tropism would be a plant growing towards the light. If you see a plant that maybe the roots are here, but you see the stem and the flower are bent over towards the light, here's the sunlight, then this would be considered a positive tropism. And then the last positive tropism is gravity. Gravity is that invisible force that keeps us all here on Earth. And um, that would be the tropism for gravity would be just seeing that the roots of a plant grow down 
from the plant um, and so all of these things touch light and gravity would be examples of tropism